I ask one guy, I ask one guy in Ubud about crypto. Like, what do you think? What, what's your what's your vision of crypto and future? And he's like, oh, how can you still believe in that bullshit? Want to go to waterfall ceremony? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's pray for Bitcoin. You know? <laughs> Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Far too kind. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Woo! Where's your friend? Why are you sitting alone? On the way? What do you mean? He's on the way where? She's on the way. It was you it was he just now. Is is he on in Thailand or it's coming as she? Where's your friend? You have two empty spaces here. Are they still your friends though? No? Where where are you from? Ukraine. Woohoo! Thanks for a gift. I mean that little <laughs> island. <clears throat> really appreciate it. If you guys don't know, we have a president and they didn't have president for a while. And then our president decided to take a piece of land. And now Russians are like, oh, oh, oh. Like dollar and euro became twice more expensive, but Russians are like, oh, we have Ireland. Oh, all right. Where are you from? Are you a couple? You're not. You're just friends, right? Do you think it's because of your shorts or? All right, all right. So you came together, right? You plan to leave together too? What? Uh huh. Ah. Okay. What what's your job? What do you do in Bali? Wish me luck. <laughs> what's your job? Wish me luck. I think you have too much competition. So many people are looking for a job now. So what do you do? Self-employed. What is it? Self-employed. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mining and metals. Mining metals Mining by yourself in Bali. <laughs> in Kazakhstan. All right. Okay, Brad. We didn't take any islands from you guys. But you will eventually. They don't have any islands. I don't know. We're gonna take your hip hop or something. Make it popular. <laughs> Inside joke. All right. Anyone from Ubud? Just, just one. All right. Uh, what do you do in Ubud? Namaste, of course. I think I know who's that. I cannot see shit, but I think I know that voice. What do you do? I do namaste. All right. All right. All right. All right. I, I spent few weekends in Ubud, and I think I'm changing as a person. Yeah. First of all, I came back to Changu, and I'm like, why are you guys eating with forks? Why are you guys wearing shoes? Ugh. Why are you guys talk to each other? Like, aloud. <sighs> but actually, I have few questions to people who live in Ubud, too. Like, guys, how did you pick a place to live? It's like, I want to live in tropical island and wear a fucking jacket? Really? Some people from Ubud, they're saying like, oh, it's so cool here. We have monkey forest. Mm. Have you been to Black Sands on Friday? <laughs> we have monkey forest. And the same rules apply. Don't look into the eyes. Don't bring any food. Don't touch babies, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Ubud really changed me, you know, I became one of those guys who ask questions in the wrong time. Like, if a girl told me, you know, I want to be on top, before I would be, hell yeah, let's do it, and now I'm like, why? <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? She's like, come on, slap me, slap me harder. What's your relationships with father? She's like, come on, let's do it, let's come together. 
Let's do fasting together. <laughs> Actually, a couple of weeks ago, I did some fasting. I did water fasting 48 hours. And you know what was the, the hardest part of it? Not to tell everyone I meet about it. You know how fasting is good for your health? You nearly die, but then you fly, you know? It's... Have you guys tried fasting? You're trying fasting? You have wine in your hand. What do you mean? Is it wine fasting? Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. You have French fries, yeah? French fries. Hey, by the way, why why people call them French fries? Did you really? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you guys should steal chocolate. <laughs> you stole this shit. Uh, so really, you did three days fasting? I did, but not three days and not fasting. <laughs> you did last week, okay. Okay, applause to the guy. He did fasting some days, somewhere, for, for some long. You do once a month for nine months. I do once a month for nine months. I don't do math. <laughs> All right. Can I continue? <laughs> Respectful. Uh, it's your fucking fries. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I have another topic. Some of my friends, they called me cheap or stingy. And I think it's kind of wrong. It's wrong that I still call them friends. First of all, and then I think I'm not cheap or stingy. I'm financially sustainable. <laughs> like, why do you guys order latte or cappuccino or whatever the fuck you order? You just come and ask for espresso and then you add some milk from your pocket. <laughs> you go to supermarket, they give you a little cup for free. You carry it with you, you just... <laughs> learn from me. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. You know those massage places, they charge too much. I think 100,000 rupiah for one hour. That's too much. But recently I, I started getting nice deals. I bargained down to 50k for 30 minutes. <laughs> yep. Uh, I've been to Ubud again, yeah, every weekend. So I went to cacao ceremony. Three hours, very interesting. And then I ask one more to go. And they're like, what do you mean to go? We're not Starbucks. I'm like, I know, you guys don't even have Wi-Fi here. <laughs> do you guys go to Starbucks? Do you go to Starbucks? I can see by your haircut, you never fucking go to Starbucks. <laughs> uh. I go to Starbucks, but I never buy anything there. It's, it's overpriced. I go there for, for the bum gun, for the ash, ash washer, you know? <laughs> you know, deep refreshing. They regulate it really good. Perfect temperature, perfect pressure. It goes a bit in, like, mmm. <laughs> My favorite part, it's totally free. <laughs> <sighs> Actually, because I'm cheap and stingy, I don't do dating. It costs money, <laughs> for some reason. So I don't date until it's sugar mommy. <laughs> think about it, think about it. There are some stereotypes about Russian ladies being gold diggers. Fucking bullshit. Guys can do that too. <laughs> Easy. You know, sugar mommy will pay for dinner. Good sugar mommy will pay for your rent, for your bike. I think I'm my own sugar mommy. I'm paying for everything. You know? Once I was dating a few sugar mummies, so I was really close to diabetes. <laughs> Too much sugar. And I was really close to diabetes because I met all of them in a hospital. It's, it's really smart. No, hear me out. Really smart. They're not really attractive, right? So they don't require sex two, three times a week now. They just need three shots a day of insulin. And then they're happy. They don't touch you. 
if I feel like going out with my friends and not carrying this old shit with me, then I'm just adding a bit water to the shot. And then she feels like like Netflix and chilling and dying. You know? <laughs> Yep. I was telling these jokes in another place and uh, one girl came to me after the show and she said, are you really that cheap and stingy? I'm like, no, 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 we comedians, we just write jokes, you know, it's all our fantasy. It's all our fantasy, just jokes. And she's like, oh, really? Prove it. Treat me some drink. I'm like, easy, sure, just not here. It's a bit pricey here. Can go, we can go to Shishi, ladies' night together, and get some drinks. I'll get some thing after, hopefully. Do you guys mind I have a piece of paper here? Is it okay? No. I wrote it myself. I googled it and then wrote it myself. Actually, this is really good comedy night. It's around 75% of jokes are original, which is the best, the best number on the island. I would say the best number in Southeast Asia. <laughs> All right. I asked one, ask one guy in Ubud about crypto. Like, what do you think? What, what's, your, what's your vision of crypto in the future? And he's like, oh, how can you still believe in that bullshit? want to go to waterfall ceremony? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's pray for Bitcoin. You know? <laughs> Have you guys been to like waterfall ceremonies? Anyone? Yeah. Are you divorced? <laughs> <laughs> On the way? <laughs> On the way? <laughs> all right, all right. I think I think the most people on those Sebatu waterfall ceremonies are divorced. That's what I think, and their eyes are full of hope. Like I will I will just wash myself in water and my change will and my life will change. Right? That's the logic. So much hope in their eyes. You know who else has a lot of hope in their eyes? A guy who has just bought a big pack of protein. He's going home. He's carrying that big bag of sport nutrition and he's like i gonna be big i gonna be strong i gonna be uh, uh, fucking tired i gonna be so fucking masculine you know where did i see that guy uh you walk down the street you see many shops then they have windows and windows has reflection so yeah that was me i have to explain my jokes that's my level of comedy now all right all right all right so yeah, recently I started to go into gym a bit more serious. I know, I know, I know, I know. You you cannot see that now yet, but just wait for two, three months, maybe maybe half a year, and you will don't even remember I told you that. <laughs> yep. What else do I have? Oh shit. Okay. Especially for you, my friend. You're from France, right? Yeah. You sound like that. I like that guy from Kazakhstan is laughing, like, <laughs> French. <laughs> so if French guy will decide to open an ice cream shop in Bali, I think he's going to call it Creme Boulet. Also, Creme Boulet is a good uh, name for a Massage Plus Plus. <laughs> That's all for tonight. Have a good evening. <laughs>